Hey, fun seekers, Wasaga Mike here. I want to welcome everyone at Wasaga Beach and from around the world. This is Fact Up News. Buckwheat of the Little Rascals fame grew up, became a Muslim, and then changed his name. Now he goes by Kareem of Wheat. <laughs> Gandhi walked barefoot most of the time, which produced an impressive set of calluses on his feet. He also ate very little, which made him rather frail. And with his odd diet, he suffered from bad breath. This made him a super calloused, fragile mystic hexed by halitosis. <laughs> There's a new restaurant in town. It's called Karma. There's no menu, you just get what you deserve. <laughs> Barnum and Bailey's human cannonball told the circus owner he's going to retire. His boss protested, you can't. Where am I going to find a man of your caliber? <laughs> Police arrested a homeless man for disorderly conduct charges. The judge dropped all the charges because he couldn't put him under house arrest. <laughs> New artifacts were discovered off the wreck on the Titanic. One of them was a can of coffee. Sanka. <laughs> a small boy swallowed some coins and was taken to a hospital the other day. We at the station phoned down to see how he was doing. No change yet. Apparently all the toilets in the New York police stations have been stolen. Police have nothing to go on. <laughs> Tragic news, there was two ships in the Pacific Ocean. A red Russian ship and a blue ship from Greece. They collided at sea. Last report, the survivors were marooned. <laughs> Following last week's news that the Origami Bank has folded, we're hearing that the Sumo Bank has gone belly up and the Bonsai Bank plans to cut back some of its branches. <laughs> People are choosing cremation over the uh, traditional burial these days. Shows that some people are thinking out of the box. <laughs> Two men broke into a drugstore and stole all of Viagra. Police are on the lookout for two hardened criminals. Scientists have teamed up with veterinarians and they've created a flea from scratch. <laughs> Interesting story. A woman in Europe had twins and gave them up for adoption. One of them went to a family in Egypt and his name was Amal. The other went to a family in Spain. His name was Juan. Years later, Juan sent a picture of himself to his birth mother. Upon receiving the picture, she told her husband she wishes she had a picture of them all. Husband replied, they're twins. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> a truckload of human hair was stolen the other day. Police are combing the area. <laughs> 25 dogs were stolen from the pet shop on Saturday. Police say they have no leads. Here's a twist. A Canada revenue agent was found guilty of tax evasion and is serving 35 years. He's got a lot of time to collect himself. <laughs> a dry cleaner was charged with money laundering. They're still trying to iron out a deal. <laughs> this weekend is Canada's 150th birthday. I'm proud to say that I'm a Canadian. And you know what? You know you're a Canadian. If you know who Foster Hewitt is, if you have Canadian tire money in your drawer, you drink pop, not soda. And you know that the last letter of the English alphabet is Z, not Z. You've rolled up the rim to win. You know what a Mickey and a 2-4 means. You get ticked off when someone says, oh, you're from Canada. 
I have a friend named Tom. He lives in Canada too. Do you know him? A is a very important part of your vocabulary and understand all the 1,000 different meanings of A. And when you hear in the five hole and spending some time in a box, you don't think dirty. And this is the Fact Up News right here on Wasaga Beach TV. Happy birthday, Canada.